Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to build this and also how it works. Okay, now let's start with the tutorials. The first thing you'll need is an A4 size paper. And right after that you'll need a long cylindrical stick like this. And this is optional. You can also use a flat wooden stick. Now all you need to do is start rolling the paper with the help of the stick till the end. And now make sure both the sides are equal and right after that glue the end portion. And right after that start smashing the paper flat along the line that has been created by the paper itself. This is the first layer of the plate and now you need 6 more extra papers to make the other layers. And now with the help of the first layer of the plate start folding the paper in an equal proportion. But this time we're also gonna need to check the slides and also the frictions as well. Take your time as much as you want. The only thing matter is the blade to work smoothly without friction nor too much tightness and also make sure the blade is not too loose enough that it comes out all quickly. Here I'm redoing it again because I felt a bit of a tightness at the end. Keep trying until you're satisfied with the sliding option. And once you're satisfied with the slide, just glue the end portion of the paper and that's it. And after gluing the whole portion, now you can check the slides of the first layer of the plate. And from now on it's all gonna be the same process as you have done with the second layer and now this is the third layer of the blade and once it's done correctly it's all gonna be in a straight line and now repeat the same process for the other remaining layers and once you're done with all the layers, take them out one by one and place it in order. Now take the first one and mark the extension limit of the blade of about 10cm. And you can also reduce the distance to about 8cm or 7cm because the lesser the distance, the stronger the hole of the blade will be. And right after that, do the same thing for all the layers as well. The next thing you'll need is a thread and a compass or you can also use any kind of a pointed tools if you want. Recheck the mark once again and then start marking a small hole on the opposite side of the plate. And once you're done with the holes, it's time to put them together. Now take the first one and start passing the thread through the hole and you can also use your tool to push the thread through the hole. And right after that, tie the cord properly to hold the plate in its place. Now grab the second layer and insert the first one through the back portion of the second. And now adjust the marking area for the extension limit. And now tie the cord at the same place without disturbing the distance. You can pull the cord back if the marking area is exposing. Now glue the whole portion in this area. Reconnect the cord once again to continue the process. And now from the second layer itself, start smashing the corners inward because it's a very essential step for the slides to work properly. And right after that, all the process are same for the remaining layers. 
and one more thing for the last second layer that is the sixth layer reduce the distance from 10 centimeter to 7 centimeter because the last layer is gonna work as the handle and the last second layer will give a better strength to the grip of the handle if the distance is less you can add more layers if you want the sword to be a bit more longer and now add another piece of paper to make the handle a bit more stronger you can add another one if you want it but that's optional now for making the tip you can either make double edge or single edge and after cutting out all the extra portions glue all the edges together And now let's make a small guard on the edge of the handle. Now start folding the paper in half and repeat the same process till the end. Cut all the pieces together in equal measurement. And now we have a lot of paper strips to wrap around the handle. At first glue the edge of the handle and right after that wrap around the paper strips carefully and this is how it looks like after you have done with all the pieces and now from the bottom portion slightly push the edges to keep a different shape to the guard and also to give a comfortable feel while holding and right after that glue all these portions take another piece of paper and start folding the paper in half again repeat the same process as before but make sure this time the size is a bit bigger than the previous one because this time we're gonna make the pummel now it's the same process as it was done with the guard before And now the sword is ready to be used. And from here it's all up to you now. You can go ahead, customize it, add more details and you can also do a paint job if you want it. And now let me show you how it works. At first grab around the corner with a light grip and flick your wrist at the same time while pulling downward. And one more thing, do not perform anything while holding like this. Always hold in this way. Okay, here goes. Do not apply too much force, just flick and pull at the same time. Keep practicing and it will definitely work perfectly. And here's a reversal trick. Let me show you from another angle. And in order to perform that, exert a small force in front and then move your hand in anti-clockwise direction and bring it back to the same place. If you like my video, make sure to share and subscribe and also turn on that notification. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.